With the transition to electric vehicles beginning to accelerate, Tesla's competition has been, to say the least, lacking. Nonetheless, as the EV market continues to expand, there's no doubt that there will be other players in the market at some point, whether it be in 2 or 5 years. Spearheaded by a man named Peter, Lucid Motors may have the potential to capture the future luxury EV market. While Tesla can outcompete Lucid easily in performance and speed, Lucid looks to capture a portion of the EV market similar to Mercedes-Benz, Bentley, and Rolls-Royce. Most recently, Lucid ran an EPA test on its luxury sedan dubbed the Lucid Air and was able to achieve a range of 517 miles. In this video, I'm going to cover why, despite believing that Tesla's vehicles are technologically more advanced, I still see potential in Lucid Motors. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing for more content like this and let's get right into it. Unlike many CEOs who claim that they can outcompete Tesla in performance, batteries, and price, Lucid Motors knows that it won't be able to and instead has been focusing on more of a niche market, expensive luxury vehicles. The Model 3 is now in the mid-40s. They're aiming to get to $35,000 a car. How do you compete with that? Because our car is operating in a different sector of the market. It's truly luxurious, luxurious car. So we're really, uh, you need to compare us with a Mercedes-Benz S-Class, not something like a C-Class Mercedes. What about the higher end Teslas? Well, an S-Class uh, Mercedes is, is our core competitor, but uh, a Model S Tesla, yes, that would be a, a, a comparative uh, electric model. But we differ in that we're truly a luxury brand. If you look at Tesla, they're high-tech, they're beautifully engineered, uh, they're very disruptive, and they're premium price. But you only have to get inside a Tesla to recognize it's not really a luxury car, it's a premium car but not true luxury. Notice how the reporter attempts to bait Peter, the Lucid Motors CEO, into saying that all his vehicles are superior to Tesla's. The title of the interview even claims that Lucid is taking on Tesla, when the reality is that the automaker is not in the same sector. Now Lucid Motors has been able to achieve an EPA estimate of 517 miles by using two immensely important tactics. These tactics seem to line up with Tesla's strategy in its upcoming sports version of its Model S, named the Plaid Model S, which many speculate will be revealed on Tesla's Battery Investor Day. As we'll soon analyze, I believe the specs of Lucid's new vehicle prototype is a manifestation of the potential the Plaid Model S has. The truth is that Lucid's batteries are not any better than Tesla's. In fact, Lucid's batteries are likely worse than Tesla's in terms of energy density and price. Nevertheless, Lucid is able to obtain a range above 500 miles using two tactics, both of which Tesla will likely use for its upcoming Plaid Model S. Lucid was able to bring down the drag coefficient of its air down to 0.21. To put this into perspective, the lowest drag coefficient of all luxury vehicles is the Mercedes A-Class, which has a drag coefficient of 0.22. We've seen Tesla test out all kinds of different tools on its Plaid Model S to improve its aerodynamics, and Lucid's clever design is a hint at the potential this has. However, keep in mind that Lucid's goal is to increase the range of its vehicle, whereas Tesla is attempting to lower the 0-60 of its Plaid Model S. This difference in goals gives their vehicles extremely divergent designs from each other. By improving the aerodynamics of its electric sedan, this improves the driving range by a substantial amount, as it decreases air resistance against the vehicle. The Lucid Air has a battery pack as large as 130 kWh, whereas the Long Range Model S only has a 100 kWh battery pack. This difference in battery size is substantial, and allows the vehicle to have far longer lasting battery charge. Similar to the first tactic, Tesla also looks to have a larger battery pack in its Plaid Model S, as it allows the vehicle to have a faster 0-60 while increasing the range of the vehicle. The Lucid Air will undoubtedly be expensive, with pricing expected to start at $100,000. However, given the specs and features of the vehicle, the price may turn out to be worth it. Similar to Tesla, Lucid's interior design is extremely minimalistic, comprising of three different screens. The company also claims that the Lucid Air will have a 0-60 under 2.5 seconds while having top-of-the-line comfort. I'm quite skeptical of Lucid delivering on the price, but either way, 
Lucid is truly showing how the EV market will eventually take over the entire car market, as Lucid can dominate the luxury market and Tesla can control the market for sports cars. When it comes to autonomous driving, I'm also extremely skeptical of Lucid given the fact that the company has such a small data set while having no LiDAR technology. However, Elon Musk has discussed possibly licensing out the autopilot to other automakers, and there is potential for a deal to happen there. Unlike many of the other EV companies attempting to take on Tesla, I believe Lucid will be able to capture a decent portion of the EV market assuming the specs are able to go into the production model. The market Lucid looks to disrupt is relatively small, and production will likely be difficult to ramp up, leaving a high risk, high reward opportunity for the company. Let me know what you think about Lucid's 517 mile EV, and whether you think it is a manifestation of future luxury. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.